This puppy might just be nine months old, but she's already breaking records. Standing six feet tall and weighing 180 pounds, Euphrates, as she's called, is the world's largest puppy, and she's not done growing yet. Euphrates is a relatively unheard of breed of dog called the American Molossus. The breed itself might be new, but its closest genetic relative, the Mesopotamian Molossus, is certainly not. In fact, it died out more than 7,000 years ago. That meant that Euphrates actually closely resembled a dog that was literally prehistoric. Owner Jared Hauser, age 41, said that people often mistook his giant puppy for a full-grown dog for obvious reasons. Nothing about Euphrates' unique look screams puppy. Euphrates was actually related to the ancient breed through two lines, the English and Neapolitan Mastiff. She was the largest puppy in her litter and cost Jared and his family about $5,000. It's a small price to pay for peace of mind, huh? So how did Euphrates make sure that she kept growing in the footsteps of her ancestors? For starters, she ate more than eight cups of dog food a day. That was roughly more than four times the amount of the average dog. Jared couldn't stop raving about his super special and super sized puppy. At nine months, there simply isn't another dog, 180 pounds and 31 and a half inches to withers anywhere else in the world, he said. She is an anomaly. Euphrates was so special that Jared tried to make it official. We looked up online and called the Guinness World Records, reached out to hundreds of breeders to see if any dog comes closer to her size for this age, he said, and there's nothing. In fact, if you wanted to see a dog whose looks came close to Euphrates, you'd have to go to a museum that features ancient Mesopotamian art. It was believed that Euphrates' ancestral cousins were so big they were used in battle to take down the horses of their enemies. Even Jared had no clue that Euphrates would turn out to be as large as she was. It's unreal and unheard of at nine months. Her size and strength is far beyond what I thought it would be, he said. If you're having trouble imagining what it would be like to live with a dog that huge, Jared could help. If she was to stand, she's big enough to look out the peephole on our door, he said. Woof! For all of her size, Euphrates couldn't be sweeter. Her nature really contrasted the stories of historians who talk about how these dogs were used in battle against enemy forces. It seemed as if she was nothing like her ancestors in temperament. Apparently, the Mesopotamian molasses breed wore leather harnesses that held sharp metallic spikes on their backs. The dogs were trained to run beneath their enemy's horses, instantly gutting them. Other historians believe that the dogs were more commonly used to guard homes and to help shepherd flocks of sheep. However they were used, their size was impossible to be ignored, and sweet Euphrates was no exception. According to her owner, taking care of a dog the size of Euphrates wasn't always easy. I'm 260 pounds and 6 foot 3, said Jared, but if she decided to run and I couldn't hold her on the leash, she could drag me down the road with ease. Walking down the street with a dog like her tended to draw a lot of attention, too. When people look at her, they're surprised and ask how I've been able to keep her under control, joking that I must be a lion tamer, Jared laughed. The hardest thing for people to understand was that the puppy wasn't done growing yet. Most people think she's a fully grown dog when we take her out in public, said Jared. When we tell them she's a nine-month-old puppy, their jaws hit the floor. While some people can't imagine adopting such a big dog, Euphrates was exactly what Jared and his family were looking for. After witnessing a home invasion where a dog was thrown from a window and killed, Jared never wanted to see another dog put in harm's way defending his or her family. Jared actually consulted with a breeder about the largest dogs around, and that was how he heard of the American Molossus breeding program. He learned that he would be one of the first people alive to own one of this new breed. It sounded like Jared's instincts paid off. Euphrates was every bit as tough as her ancestors. Since Jared and his family adopted the pooch, their car was the only one on the block that wasn't broken into. Sounds like Euphrates' reputation preceded her. Still, for all her massive size, Euphrates was a real mush. She loved interacting with people, especially women and children, and she always greeted new friends with a wagging tail and cuddles. Can you imagine this cutie resting her head on your shoulder after a long day? If this is what this dog looks like now, just imagine how big she'll be when she's finally finished growing. That's just totally nuts.